As a child, as soon as the school bell rang, I would sprint straight to the local library, and then I would take over the computer clearly meant to search for books so that I could spend as much time as possible playing on Miniclip. And of all the games on that site, the one that sticks in my mind the most is Bubble Trouble. But now that I'm older, I feel like this game isn't as perfect as I had thought. Moving around feels slow, and destroying every single little ball that only just bounces over your head is extremely annoying. And sometimes it feels like there's no way out of the maze of balls coming at you. And well, this thing isn't even a grappling hook. Don't they know every game is better with a grappling hook? But the big glass window still looks really cool. And well, I can make games. And I'm bored. So, I've decided I can recreate my nostalgia and make Bubble Trouble reimagined. Think less Demon Souls, Demon Souls. More Sonic, Sonic 06. I'm not very good with planning, so my plan was like this. 3D ball FPS shooting grapple hook. And from there, I was away, sprinting headfirst into mistake after mistake. Using my very basic blender skills to make the ball split in half. Making a basic level setup. And creating a gun for the player. Then playing with a physics rope asset I bought just for this, that I didn't end up using. But I did figure out, you can do this. Which is very cool. And then I tried to make a physics based player controller, with no help from the internet, just using my brain. And I stopped to look at what I had made, and it was absolutely terrible. The physics based grappling hook is impossible to aim. And the player controller I made, just feels horrible. What's the matter with this thing? No problems here. Ignoring most of the problems that I had just created, I decided I would try and make the background from the original game. There's lots of really cool ones, but my favorite was always this one. I think it's probably because this was the level I would always get stuck on as a child. This is the one I'm gonna recreate. Unity Shader Graph is really cool. I like it a lot. It's really helpful. You get to do shader things without having to do shader things. I was trying for a long time to make something identical, but I couldn't quite get it. I made a bunch of iterations that looked quite close, but I decided on this one in the end because I like the way it looked the best. It kind of looks like a 80s arcade carpet. Next on the list was the brick material from the original game. I had previously created a brick material in Shader Graph, trying to recreate this effect from the movie Hellraiser. So I just brought it into this game, gave it a couple of changes, and it worked perfectly. Alright, now it's time to get back to the things that are broken, starting with the physics controller. And this time, I made a very serious little man, to show my determination to get this right. I realized that the new player controller needed to have solid physics foundations, and I had no idea how to do this. So, I found this video on the internet of this person explaining how theirs works in their game, and I really liked it, so I adapted it into my game but I made it an FPS. In order to make the physics controller, I did need to know more about maths, specifically quaternions. Quaternions are a way of representing rotations using maths. And they're very annoying, because with vector rotations, you have X, Y, Z, pitch your roll. Easy. With quaternions, you have X, Y, Z, W. And that's where I get lost. The right way to understand them is like this. Gimbal lock. It's best for me if I treat them as fourth dimensional maps that I can't read, but the computer can, so I just add the ones I want together, and I feed them to the computer, and it figures out where to go. I spent a long time just playing around with the controller tweaking things and adding things like Mario jumping and coyote time. And then I added a grapple hook, which works a lot nicer than I would have thought. And I spent a lot of time just jumping around swinging on things. I came to the conclusion that the best way to make the grappling hook work was to make it so that you fire out a little ball and then it stops in midair and then you swing from that point. It's very fun and I spent a lot of time just swinging around playing with it. I then went back to look at the balls. I started to try and make an effect that would have the balls grow in a weird way, and then I got very distracted, and I thought that it kind of looked like a nuke 0.00000 seconds after it's exploded. 
and I kind of spent the rest of the day recreating this image that I found. Because I was distracting myself from the fact that I didn't know how to make levels properly. I tried it in Blender, and then I realized I don't know how to make the inside not the inside and be the outside so that you can be in the inside. I ended up giving up on Blender and just using Pro Builder because it's so much easier. And then I just started putting all the rest together. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring and I realized that a lot of the time there's things floating in the air and it looks very cool. So I added some stuff floating around in my air, a sort of dust that kind of makes it look like an arcade. When testing things you always have to make them way more extreme than you think, to see if it looks cool. So I did this, and then I did this, and I did that, and I settled on this. The floor isn't visible in the original game, but I kind of picture it as a castle, so I made the floor a sort of straw and dirt type of thing. My first try came out a little too much like spaghetti bolognese. But I made everything smaller and I think it looks good. It kind of looks like a carpet in an old house, but I think that's good. I think it kind of suits the arcade vibe. So I'm done with that now. I made a cloud effect for the ball hook point, but it didn't really fit. So instead I made this pulsing thing, which I think works a lot better. Making a UI, I created some 3D models in Blender, brought them into Unity, and I added a shader that moves around their vertices sort of randomly, so that it gets this sort of messed up effect, which I thought looked really cool. And making the smashing in doors from the original game, I just created some walls far away, and then I slammed them together in front of a camera, and I put that camera on top of the original camera, and it worked perfectly. And I think that's it. It's not a perfectly faithful remake, but I've captured a part of the game that made me happy at least. But if I'm being honest, destroying these little balls every single time is still very annoying, just like in the original, so maybe I haven't really improved anything at all. Oh well, let me know what you think, and leave a comment saying your favorite Flash game, and maybe I'll make it next time. Thanks, goodbye.